Welcome back to the Cyclos 4 instruction videos. This video will be about groups. First make sure you're logged into a network, then go to system management and then go to groups. You will see that there is one hard-coded group type that is the network administrator group. This is a very important administrator group because it has some fixed permissions that are hard-coded. You can see these permissions here. The system configuration these permissions, the system configuration, the account configuration, and the user configuration. Uh, also, it's obliged to always have a member in this group. Uh, in this way, you can never lose access to the system and you can always keep configuring the system. Also, the global administrator and the multi network administrator ha have the permissions from the network administrator group type. There are two other group types, and that are administrator groups and users groups. Uh, the user groups are meant for u normal users, and the administrator groups are meant for administrators. Well, let's first create a group set. A group set is a collection of groups, and let's call it normal users. Let's then create a user group called uh, silver users. The group should be enabled and it should be part of our group set. Let's save it. And let's create another gr user group also within this group set. And let's call it gold members. Save. Okay, now in the gold members. We want the gold members also to see the silver members. And the silver members, we also want them to be able to see the gold members. Well, you see that they're both active groups because we want to use them for active users. And they can see each other. They're both part of the same group set and they have uh, the default configuration and they have no products assigned to it yet. Okay, that's all good. In some cases, the user is allowed to choose a group upon registration. Uh, if we allow this, we should give the group a special name to be shown on the registration. We give it the name normal users here. And we can give a, a registration uh, a description uh, and we say something like choice and uh, this group uh, if you want to become a normal user we save it and we are done we created silver users we can now attach products to it but we don't have any products in the system yet so we cannot do that and we can assign here the configuration to it well we just use the default configuration and we cannot change the configuration because we only have one configuration in the system okay we done that we also make another we will make another administrator group and we will call them uh, limited admins because they don't have all the permissions. Okay, we give them the default configuration and we say, okay, which admins can they manage? Can they manage the network administrators? No, because well, those have a higher hierarchy. So we don't want them to be able to manage the, these, but we want them to be able to manage all the users. So we say save. So the limited admins can manage the users and we, can give them permissions now. Well, what do we want the limited admins to be able to do? We can set here. It works the same as in the product and we will explain this when explaining the products. We go back to the details and we go back to the groups. And now we see we have the limited administrators. Also, we still want to have a group uh, where we move the users we don't use anymore. And let's create this group and it's a user group and we will set this group to be for removed users and we call the group removed users uh, and here we move uh, removed users 
it should be enabled and it won't be part of any group set and it will have the default configuration we save it and then we see here in the groups that we also have this removed user groups well that's enough now for the groups um, let's create a new member uh, for this group to see that it really worked so we go to user management and then to users and then to new and we can for example make a gold member and we can uh, create one here well we don't do that now but it will work okay thank you for watching this video about groups and we hope you will be back soon and watch our other videos